Today I want to go a little bit more in depth about talking to your body in order to change it. So keep watching. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a law of attraction coach. And if you're new here to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and tap the bell. So recently I put out a video about talking to your body in order to change it. And so today I kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit on that and give you some examples of things that you might say. So whether you're having a conversation with your body, just talking to it throughout the day here and there, or affirmations, specific affirmations that you say to your body, just, you just want to remember to self-soothe. You want it to be soothing. You want to feel good whilst you're saying whatever it is that you're saying, because otherwise it won't work. And I talked about that in the last video, so I'm just trying to remind you, it is about feeling good whilst you're speaking the words. Otherwise your vibration is not a match to what you're saying. And therefore those words are empty and cannot have any effect on your body. So if you're speaking to your body now, but maybe it's not resonating with you or you're not sure if you're doing it right, um, I have a few examples for you that are gonna help you. What are some of the ways you can talk to your body and change it. Firstly, we have I am affirmations. So I'm gonna use the example of losing weight in this video and just talk about all the different examples, but you can obviously adjust it to whatever you're wanting to manifest. So say you're wanting to lose weight. Your affirmation might be, I am already my desired weight. I am my ideal body weight. I am losing weight all the time. These affirmations are really, really popular because of course, if you're saying you already are that and you're feeling that in the moment you speak it, the universe is gonna give that to you. But it's tricky because the universe isn't responding to those words. The universe is responding to the emotion or the vibration behind those words. If you don't believe it while you're saying it, it's not going to have the effect that you want it to. So when you are doing affirmations or when you're just speaking to your body, notice how you feel emotionally when you're speaking these words. Become more aware of your emotion. If it feels fake, if it doesn't feel real, if you don't believe it when you're saying it, you are practicing resistance and you can't allow in the change. So if you still want to use um, phrases, statements that say I am or I have. What you can do is change your statement slightly in order to improve how you feel while you're saying it. So instead of saying I am skinny right now, I am already my desired weight. Instead you could say I am constantly changing into a more beautiful version of me. I am becoming more beautiful every single day. I am feeling more satisfied with my body every single day. I am feeling lighter and lighter. I am in the process of losing weight. It can be helpful to be a little bit more general and a little bit more soothing with the words that you're saying to yourself. And eventually you will get to the place where you can be very specific and have that high level of expectation, that high vibration and manifest something that you want. But if right now you're struggling or you feel like you don't believe the words you're saying, it's helpful to change your statement slightly in order to give a better vibration, a higher vibration, emit a higher emotion, because that's how you're going to attract that change that you want. And so if you start with a more general soothing statement, like I am feeling better about my body every day. As you say that over and over, you'll be practicing that vibration. Your vibration is rising. You have a higher level of alignment. You may be able to say something more specific about your body weight in a little bit of time. Just play around and see what makes you feel good, what gives you that good feeling in your body. Because you want to speak your intentions, you want to speak your desires to your body, and it is listening. But you also want to be in that allowing mode, that receiving mode, where you can actually receive what you want, you can actually manifest what you want. Another method is the wouldn't it be nice. I am a huge fan of Abraham Hicks and 
This is something that they talk about in their book Ask and It Is Given. When you say, wouldn't it be nice if, and then talk about something that you desire, you have less resistance. This is a way of setting intentions or expectations or playfully talking about your desires in a way that actually lessens the resistance. So it lessens your doubt, your negativity, your lack, because you're not focused on, I really want this or I really need this right now. It's just, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Or wouldn't it be fun? And it's kind of more playful. So that's a more pure vibration. For example, with weight loss, you could say something like, wouldn't it be nice to become lighter in my body? Wouldn't it be nice to effortlessly become lighter? Wouldn't it be nice for my body to naturally and easily lose weight? Wouldn't it be nice if my body listened and came into alignment with what I desire? Even things that are very general, like, wouldn't it be nice to feel better about myself? Wouldn't it be nice to feel comfortable in my body? Now you might be thinking, well, I'm not saying specifically about the changes that I'm wanting to create, but you are focusing on the core vibration, the core emotion of these desired changes. And you're emitting that vibration to the universe and the universe is going to respond. So you are doing the work. You're just not adding in the resistance that comes with thinking or speaking about the specifics of what you want. And sometimes when we're wanting a lot of different changes in our body and we're trying to speak to our body saying, I want you to do this and I want this and I need this and I want you to change this. So many different things that you're focused on all at once, that's just gonna build up resistance. So sometimes it's just better to go general, especially at first, just be general. Wouldn't it be nice if my body aligned with the image I hold in my mind. Wouldn't it be nice to discover that I have control over what my body does? Wouldn't it be nice to easily allow all different changes in my body all at once? This is your work to just play around with different statements and see how you feel on different ones. Find the best feeling ones and then say those. Wouldn't it be nice statements or the wouldn't it be fun statements are so soothing and they're so playful, they're so uplifting. There is no resistance. And if you start to, you start to say some and you do feel resistance on certain things that you're saying, notice what's causing the resistance and go more general. Change your statements, change your words until you find something that feels good. Next method is the I want. So this is basically telling your body what you want it to do. Instead of saying, I already have this, it's saying, I want, I want you to do this. And there's a lot of talk about that because some people think that if I'm saying I want it, it's emitting to the universe that I don't have it. And therefore the universe cannot give me what I believe that I don't have. And again, it depends on how you're saying what you're saying. But this is also intention setting. It is setting intentions. And with intention setting, that's how you, you practice an expectation. Because when you set an intention and you mean it and you feel it, you are practicing a high expectation for this thing that you want. But again, it matters how you feel when you're saying it. So you can set intentions, I mean, for anything during your day in your life, but you can set intentions for your body throughout the day, in the morning when you wake up, of how you wanna feel, how you wanna feel physically in your body or how you wanna feel about your body, emotionally or mentally. And setting intentions is like making a decision. And a decision, any decision is incredibly powerful because there is a lot of focused energy around a decision. When you decide something, that is a lot of powerful focused energy. So maybe if you wake up in the morning, you might wanna say, 
I want to feel good in my body today. I want to feel lighter and lighter as the days go by or speak to your body directly and just say what you want it to do. You can say, body, I want you to come into alignment with my ideal weight. Body, I want you to become lighter. You could say, body, today, I want you to lose weight anytime that I am feeling relaxed, anytime that I am feeling joyful, anytime that I am having fun or I am aligned. I want you to make my body lighter and lighter. So really you can get creative. You can find all different ways that work for you as long as you're feeling good whilst you're saying it. Or you can speak to your cells or a certain body part and say cells, whilst I sleep tonight, I want to become lighter and lighter in my body. Again, just speaking to your body lovingly, lovingly, and not out of urgency or desperation. So saying these I want statements to your body, as I said before, creates that expectation. It helps you to expect that it's coming. And it also helps to convince you, to help you more believe that you have control over your body. Because if you're speaking to your body, you must kind of believe that you have some control over your body. And you could even ask your body to make the tiniest, tiniest, teeniest little improvement. And then once you see that improvement, use that evidence of that tiny little manifestation and say, wow, I'm powerful. I did that. I did that and I can do anything else and boost your belief system. And you can say these statements in the morning, at night, before you go to sleep, anytime during your day, whenever you feel is best. And whenever you feel at your best, when you are feeling relaxed, say them. When you are feeling aligned, when you're feeling joyful, say them. And the last one is thanking your body. We know that gratitude or what I like to call it appreciation is huge. It's huge with manifesting. It's huge with attracting things that you want into your life because appreciation is such a high vibration and so pure that if you practice it, the universe has no choice but to give you more to appreciate. So constantly thanking your body whenever you get the chance, thanking your body for all it does for you, thanking every individual cell for doing what it does, thanking your body for how intelligent it is, how powerful it is. Say things like, thank you for the changes that are happening on a cellular level right now. I know that they are happening. Thank you body for listening, for always listening and responding to me. Thank you for answering my request. Thank you for the strength and stamina and vitality in my body. And really you can go on a whole appreciation rampage of all different things that you love or appreciate in your body. And it doesn't have to have anything to do with your specific thing that you're wanting to manifest because you just want to create that vibration of appreciation, which is so pure that the, vi um, that the universe can respond to. Try to thank your body and your cells on a regular basis. We do not realize how much our body is doing for us constantly in every moment. And then we've got general self-talk, you know, all during the day, pay attention to how you're thinking about your body, how you're speaking about your body, maybe to yourself or to others. Too often, so many of us are constantly just focused on whatever's wrong. Even if we love everything about our body except one thing, we will focus on that one thing and pretty much make ourselves miserable. So let's focus more on encouraging self-talk, positive self-talk, being more aware of what we're thinking and focusing on. And focus more on what feels good, focus less on what doesn't feel good. Sounds simple, but we don't do that. And talk to your body saying, I know you can do this. You know, boost up your beliefs, boost up your beliefs in your body and in yourself. I know you can do this. I know how powerful you are. I know that you have the ability to do this for me. I know that you've already done this for me and I'm just on my way to allowing it. 
I know that you are powerful and intelligent and I know that I am powerful and intelligent. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this video helped you maybe cleared up some questions that you had. Let me know in the comment section below if it did or if it didn't. Make sure to give this video a like if it helped you and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and tap that bell. Have a beautiful day.